Step one, get the tree out of the roof. I guess would have been the first one. Step two, locate the hole. If you don't have a tree sticking out of your roof. And uh, step three, fix the hole in the roof. And there's always a cat around somewhere. Now the first thing I always do, find your razor knife, cut out the shingles, and get to the exposed wood. No matter how big the hole is or how small, pretty much the same step. Well, there's the hole that the tree left. One of them, one of three. So now I gotta cut it out. What I'll do is I'll frame it in underneath the hole. The same size as where I cut it out. Cut me a square piece of plywood. And I always use screws. I don't use nails. Screw everything back together. And then I can put some tar paper up under the existing shingles that are here. Break out a can of some tar or something. Seal it all up. In this case, it doesn't have to go back exactly because it's getting a metal roof put over top. So it's just a patch. Is it temporary or permanent? It's up to you how you do it and whether you're keeping shingles. If you're doing shingles, you can just replace the shingles once you get the patch fixed. I uh, made a few cuts with my trusty battery operated craftsman that's all you know what I mean just to get you some I'll try to knock a piece out and see what I got underneath here let's see uh, what we're dealing with I think I'm on top of the truss So where the hole ended up being, missed the truss a little bit, but that's where the hole was. So now I will nail a couple two before's in. Well, probably four two before's. Screw them in. And that'll give me something to nail the plywood to. Because, well, as you see with a mobile home, this is what you get when you cut into it. You get what you get. Let me find some two before a piece of plywood. Now you can see where I extended the hole just a little bit from the previous cut to get to the other truss. Start you a couple of screws and a two before. And you can see where I'll put it up under there. That'll give me a place for my plywood to rest on that side. I'll do the same thing on this side, but being as the hole was so big. I'll put the two by four on this side of the, the hole and screw in from the outside. There's no way it's gonna go anywhere. Then I'll do the same with the sides, only in a different fashion. And one thing I noticed, if you start the screws first, like I did these three, and then back them out, it'll be a lot easier when you're trying to hold the two by four in that spot while you're screwing it in from the opposite side. I don't know if we all know how to do that, but I almost forgot to do it. I was gonna try to screw it in there without doing that, and I was like, wait a minute, what are you doing? Back up, hold up, put the screws in, back them out, then put the two before up under there, and it won't push the two before away from it. So, you know, and duh, just another quick thought. Then a few seconds later, the two before is there. I gotta clean up the corner right there, but I'm um, getting a little chisel out two more two before so now I can take a measurement and uh, I just toenail them in up under there and you can also turn them sideways instead of straight up and down which will help you with your the width to be able to get the plywood to sit on and give it more sturdiness I turn these straight up and down but these I'll turn sideways let me go find some two befores 
And pretty much the only tools I used was the Craftsman screw gun, battery, Craftsman saw, hammer, and I think I used this, my, my knife a little bit, my razor knife, and my pencil. A few two by fours, a few cuts, a piece of tar paper, and a bunch of black tar, otherwise known as bull. And you can patch your roof. And it won't leak either. Well, that's how I do it. And I'm gone. Okay, I framed it in the best I could. You can see I turned the two before sideways under the long sides. Nailed me a couple up against the existing truss, wherever it ends up. And like I said, I'm just going to put metal over this. Otherwise, I would lift up the shingles. This isn't even on here, but... And I would lift up the shingles, and I would put tar paper up under the shingles. And the tar paper itself. And I would stuff it up in there under all three sides. And then the bottom. Stuff it up under there. You see, I put screws in, hold it right there too. Long. But yeah, quick patch on your roof. If you got a hole in your roof, then you can uh, get you a can of this stuff here. And you know what to do after that, right? Put your old clothes on because you're going to get that stuff all over you. And you will have a quick patch for your roof. And it'll work. And it'll be there for a long time to come. Now I gotta cut a piece of plywood and screw it back down. But that's the easy part. I'm back quiet.